So I'm asking all my successful friends what it means to live in their 20s. I'm learning infrastructure engineer at TikTok right now. So who you are, introduce yourself, and then what does it mean to live in your 20s for you? Because I've made a lot of money and I've lost a lot of money. And I would say one thing I never regret is not everyone wants to own a business. What does it really mean to live your 20s up? Let's ask a lot of my close friends, let's ask a lot of people that I know that are chasing their dreams or living their 20s up, how they're actually doing it. Shout out to my boy Dylan Fu, his channel's right here. He's actually the one who inspired me to make this collab video with him. He's the one who reached out to me. So we're going to ask uh, everyone who I surround myself, what does that actually mean? Enjoy your 20s, live your 20s, or are you slaving away in the quote unquote matrix and just not being happy, not chasing your dream? What does that actually mean? So today we're going to ask my friend Rohit Betty, who is an agency owner, dropped out of university and actually pursued a lead gen agency for law firms for lawyers very successful guy for his age been doing it for a while now we're gonna get some food so i'll ask him the question i'll bring out the camera i'll bring the camera there so tune in and let's see what everyone has to say my name's dylan if you guys are new to the channel i make everything motivational inspiring people to chase their dreams whether it's fitness business their career it's school i'm a mechanical engineer so that's what this channel is all about, kind of my memories in one place, and I hope I can add value to your life in some way, some shape, somehow. Thank you guys. In the YouTube though, sheesh, boy Rohit. Yeah, I'm here with my boy Rohit. We're gonna ask him, really, like I said, what it means to be in your 20s. What does it actually mean to live in your 20s? And let's. As someone who's been an entrepreneur for a lot of his life, so. Dylan gave you guys a little bit of background about who I am and what I do. I started becoming an entrepreneur at the age of 18. First two years were very rough. And then after that, it was kind of smooth sailing. Um, or anything, I guess, far in between that. But in my opinion, and sorry, to rephrase the question was. What does it mean to live in your 20s? What does it mean to live in your 20s? Okay, so I've made a lot of money and I lost a lot of money. And I would say one thing I never regret is listening to my gut. So that doesn't necessarily mean like my gut's telling me to work hard or to show up to work every single day or to make a billion cold calls. Fuck that noise. If it means booking a one-way flight all the way across the world and just seeing what happens, I think that's what you should do. Um, Steve Jobs and Steve, was it Steve Wozniak? They both said one thing that really resonated with me as a kid. And they said they could have fucked their whole lives up when they started Apple and completely restarted at 30. 30s and your 20s, so just make sure you take that leap and do whatever the fuck you want, whether that's partying. I know that sounds like, you know, the exact opposite of what you just like normal people say, but go party, go do whatever your gut is telling you to do, because at the end of the day, you just gotta make yourself happy and you gotta bear with your own lifestyle choices. So, I have to listen to your gut and head that way. Damn, that was fucking good. That was fucking good. Listen up, viewers, listen up. I'm Dylan. This is Dylan, and on Dylan Vlog. What I do, I'm, uh, I actually started making more videos inspired by Dylan. Our 20s is a very unique time. It's a time where we can create memories that will possibly last forever, for a lifetime. And it is also a time where you can make choices that hopefully the future you will thank you for. Yo, so we're here with uh, my business partner. I don't know what salad, bro. What's that? Dylan, what's the healthiest salad, bro? It's Kale Caesar. You think so? Kale's always so good for you. Oh, not Greek, right? Nah. Too much cheese? Yeah. Cheese Shit, I might get the kale Caesar yeah, with yeah. the chicken skin. So I'm asking all my successful friends what it means to live in their 20s, because we're in our mid-20s. We're going to be 26 soon. So, brother, like, you know, talk talk about who you are, introduce yourself, and then seriously, like, give the viewers, because my audience is all about inspiration and motivation, but what does it mean to live in your 20s for you? Uh, I think right now it's probably like the, it's a period where you can work the hardest for your future. That's kind of how I see it in my 20s. You know, you don't, I live at home, I don't have to pay rent, I have all the time in the world now. So it's like, what excuse do you have to like not work as hard and not kind of sacrifice these years for your 30s, for your 40s, for your future family, right? So I think for me to live in your 20s, it's the best time to start a business and kind of create that path of success for your future. Thank you, bro. 
Yeah, it's good seeing you. It's good, good seeing you. Drop a subscribe comment and uh, visit his channel too. Visit everyone's channel who I'm interviewing. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. This guy's big on Instagram. If you, want, if you need real estate in Calgary, hit me up. Alan Gimray on Instagram. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. All right, guys. I'm here with my good friend, David Wu. Let's see what David, very smart guy, very knowledgeable, very inspiring, has to say about what does it mean to live in your 20s? Because everyone wants to know what's actually the right thing to do. What's the right thing to be successful, to be on that right trajectory for whoever's watching this. So David's about to give a lot of value. So listen up, guys. Well, thank you for the comments. That's very kind of you. Uh, I'm David, a uh, machine learning infrastructure engineer at TikTok right now. I'm 25. To me, living in your 20s means building the foundation for the future, but also cherishing what you have right now. So building the foundation means building your health, building your relationships, and setting aside part of your paycheck into your investment, your portfolio that you will build to give you financial freedom in the future. Cherishing your life means being grateful for what you have right now, uh, meditating, reflecting on the great things of your life, uh, but also setting goals and reflecting on what you truly want and enjoying that time with your friends, with family, uh, doing things uh, that you really enjoy. In summary, in your 20s, I think it's building foundation, but also cherishing and enjoying your youth. How I want to do that is I want to budget my time and my finances. Uh, how I budget my time is uh, spending time investing in friendship, relationships, uh, working on myself, working on my career, uh, financially being setting aside of money to invest and cherishing your youth, just enjoying the moment, having fun with your friends and being able to do things that you wouldn't be able to do later on in life um, and budgeting your uh, energy, time and resources uh, so you could build yourself the most fulfilling life for the future, set the foundation for that, but also cherishing the youth and the moments you get to have right now. Thank you. Damn, that's pretty good. You guys listen up to that. That's some good advice. Thank you, David. Yeah, thank thank you. you for having me on. Yeah, got yeah. you. I appreciate that. When's your birthday? I'm a quarter of a century old. My birthday is January 16th, 1999. Turning 26 soon, so I'm more than halfway through my 20s. I would say what it means to enjoy my 20s is living it up by doing what you want. Everyone has different wants and needs. Everyone wants different things. And I've realized that by networking with so many people. Not everyone wants to be jacked. Not everyone wants to be rich. Not everyone wants to own a business, right? So I think living in your 20s is really living up to the statement of what you actually want. Don't be influenced by society. Don't be influenced by any of your friends. Really take time and I'm a big believer of being at peace with your mind. So learn to meditate and through silence, you're gonna discover who is Dylan, who is Abby, if you're watching, Abby. And you don't have to wear a mask. I feel like transitioning from 19 to 20 and then living in your 20s, everyone's on a different path. People are getting married, people are starting new careers, people are starting businesses, etc. And all that noise will really stray you from what you really want. And next thing you know, you're 30 and you haven't really done anything in your 20s. And that's a sad realization, but it happens to a lot of different people. So I guess my biggest thing is live in your 20s is live true to yourself. Chase those dreams, take risk, right? You don't have a family right now, at least you probably don't. If you do have a family, don't take as many risks, but really chase your dreams. And if your dreams to get a nine to five and sit at home after, watch Netflix, spend time with your loved ones, do that, right? If your dream is to build a seven figure business, do that. But actually ask yourself in the fucking mirror every day, are you chasing that dream? And if you're not, you're not living true to yourself, right? So. That's my opinion on living true to your 20s. And I'm not saying grind hard as hell. I party. Like, people get that misconception like, oh, all you do is work. All you should do is work. That's what chasing your dreams is. No, that's not what it is. Chasing your dreams is living all aspects of it. Hanging out with friends, going out to eat, everything. So that's my that's my answer, bro. That's good. That's, well, see, that's perfect. Dylan speaks wise words. No, no, no. Yo, yo. Oh.